Hi, today we're talking about functions and we are just finding the domain uh, real easy. I put the graph in here on the problem you don't have that and you're not supposed to use your graphing calculator for this because uh, you need to know how to do it without it um, but just from looking at it you would say uh, okay it's going all the way to the left because domain is on this x-axis so you, you would say negative infinity and then you've got your uh, asymptotes right here and so there's a uh, it's undefined right here at negative three so you would say negative infinity three and then you put your little u uh, and then you'd say negative three to uh, three and then you've got your asymptotes and your jump and then you put another u and you'd say three to positive infinity but how would you do this without looking at a graph and I'll show you alright so you've got the function right here and what you do it's real simple you you take this uh, this bottom part and you wanna equal it to zero um, for this function this is what you would do you would you take this bottom part and equal it to zero. So let's say if you were to take this top part and and try to make it become zero, you would get where uh, the function crosses the x-axis. So if you said negative four plus four equals zero, well that's where you know it. And what do you know? One, two, three, four. There it is. So anyways, you got x squared minus nine. So you say uh, x squared minus nine equals zero and what what possibly could that be so you go let's try a, a one a one times one is one minus nine is negative eight well that's not zero um, and then you say yada 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 or you can just throw it over here and do simple algebra or you can guess um, obviously this is an easy one so it's going to be three or negative three um, so but if you wanted to just do some fast algebra x squared equals 9 square root that square root that x equals 3 or negative 3 okay so so these are the areas uh, these are the areas that are going to be undefined uh, right in uh, on this 3 axis so this is going to go up and it's going to approach 3 almost to infinity um, without ever actually touching three and same thing uh, on this side and same thing right here and right here they're undefined there is never an x value right there um, and so what you say is you say uh, okay so for this function this is how you would write it uh, the domain of f of x is negative infinity so from negative infinity you got here okay and then to negative three to negative three and then okay a little skip and then negative three uh, so then it goes from here to da, 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 three and then three to infinity and um, that's how you find the domain of this function um, so basically you just uh, make that equal to zero um, find what will make it zero and those are the undefined areas which are um, would not be there and uh, I'm going to do another one here in a minute and uh, hope that it helps